Hello everybody. In this video we will look at what is comparable and comparator in Java. The comparator interface. Comparator can be used to compare the objects of a class that doesn't implement comparable. In the work programmers oft, often find that they need to sort something. For example, when buying goods in an online store you can sort them by price or popularity. But in order to sort something, we need to compare objects according to some rules. Here it all seems everything is simple. You can sort numbers and sorting by alphabet is nothing complicated. Yes, with such data everything is easy. But how do you compare to object of class car? For price, millage, horsepower or release date. As you can see it as you can see, it is not always obvious how exactly two objects can be compared, but it doesn't matter. You ourselves can prescribe the rules. For this, we can implement the comparable and comparator interface. In addition, some of the build and feature in Java can only be used if your class implements comparable or comparator. Comparable interface from English comparable translates to Sravnimi. When implementing this interface, we say, hey, no objects of this class can be compared to each other, which each other, and I know how to do it. Uh, and before that, it was impossible. So what does the comparable interface look like? Uh, very simple, there is only one method in it, like this. You might have noticed in the book that the compare method returns integer. If array one less than array two return minus one. Uh, if array one equal array two returns zero and if uh, array one larger than array two returns one. Let's look at our example. Mm -hmm. Imagine that we want to compare two house. Let's have a house class. As you can see, we have four parameters: the size of the house, the price, the city in which the house is located, and the building has furniture. Whether the house is for sale with furniture, we did not make these variables private as so as not to burden the code and not write getters and setters for each parameter. But you can do this. For practice, let's just add the constructor and the method to print all parameters. As you can see, we decided to sort the house by array. Uh, we create three house objects and put them in three sets. Let's run. As you can see, our house are not in the order in addition Tokyo, Oxford, Paris, but sorted by array. By the way, the compare to method which requires the implementation of the comparable interface is often called the natural comparison method, default method. Basic types already have their own compare to methods. Nevertheless, if you need a non-standard type of sorting, you should be used comparator. So non-standard sorting suppose that we all agree that the most logical way to compare houses is by array. Well, if you need to sort them, for example, by price. For example, we already have a house class. We create a separate class that will perform the compar comparison function price comparator. Please note we indicate the type of objects that we want to compare in brackets after the word Comparator. Compare. Let's run. Uh, we will see that all our elements are in the order of adding. They are not sorted. Now we create an object of the price comparator class and the call the sort methods and all our array list 
uh, which takes just the object of the class that implements the comparator interface in our price comparator and sort our our list. Let's run. Now we did it. Our homes are sorted by price. Now we know how to use comparable and comparator. Uh, it's all. Uh, and the last, uh, what is the difference between comparable and com uh, comparator? Comparable is used to compare the objects objects of the class that implement comparable. Comparator can be used to compare the objects of a of a class that doesn't implement comparable. That's all. I hope this video was useful to you. Bye.